Hey, it's Ori Krug, and today we are talking about five signs that you have a fear of intimacy and how to release it. So number one is you question or reject your partner's acts of love. So maybe they give you a compliment and you're like, thanks. You know, you're not sure how to respond. You're, you get in your head and you're like, what do they mean? Are they really trying to say something else? Are they actually judging me? And you can't take it in. Or maybe they give you a gift and there's something suspicious or you question an ulterior motive going on. Or they do something nice for you and you feel like you have to reciprocate, reciprocate equally or even bigger. And you get stuck on that. Instead of being able to take all of these things in, you push it away from you. Number two is that there's a lack of physical affection in your relationship. So you have had a pattern of tensing up and feeling awkward with physical affection. You were never quite comfortable with that. And this has created a pattern in your relationship where, you know, your partner has become kind of guarded and afraid to give you more physical affection. And, and that has created this pattern in you where it's like, well, I don't want to reach out because I don't know if he's going to reach back, you know, even just for a hug. Number three is that you get defensive when your partner expresses their needs to you. So maybe they're asking you to uh, pay attention to them more, to, um, you know, to plan some, some dates or whatever. So they have a request for you that's basically asking more from you, right? We do this a lot, like really, this is so normal for relationships, but when your partner does it to you, you get defensive. You automatically think, you know, there's something wrong with you or that they're not happy and are they gonna leave? Are they unhappy with, with me and am I not good enough? And this is a defense mechanism for actually taking in their needs and listening and being able to stay connected and present in the conversation and follow through with what they're asking of you or at least saying or at least communicating what you can and can't do. So when you get in your head instead, you're not you're not connecting emotionally, you're not being intimate. And number 4, the fourth sign is that conflict is really hard for you. So your partner and you and your partner have a disagreement and you either fight back, you know, you get aggressive, you yell, you lose your shit. Um, you want to escape, maybe you want to run away, go in another room, or you just totally freeze up and it's like you're a deer in the headlights when you have a fight or when you have conflict. And this might not sound like intimacy, but the most intimate, close relationships are able to get through conflict together, are able to stay connected and get closer through these disagreements. And when you're when your nervous system is reacting in a survival response to this conflict, you're, you're showing that you're not comfortable with this level of intimacy. And the fifth sign is that you freeze up during sex or you talk through it or you just have trouble initiating or receiving initiation. So, you know, you might literally just physically freeze up when your partner makes a move or in the middle of having sex, or you go into your head and you start thinking about all the things that you need to do tomorrow, right? You're, you're basically leaving your body and you're leaving the, the act of sex and you're going in your head and you're, you're fast forwarding to tomorrow. The level of sexual intimacy is so uncomfortable for you that instead of being able to be there, you know, you're talking up a storm and you know this you're not able to stare into your partner's eyes and really enjoy the moment and that you need some sort of distraction from it so these are the five biggest signs that you have a fear of intimacy and all of these come up because your body and your nervous system are convinced this old story this old belief from your past trauma that any sort of closeness in any of these forms are not safe. They're gonna end in hurt and heartbreak and heartache. And so that's why you go in your head or you question it or you reject it because 
it's much, much easier than taking that risk of getting really close, having a really beautiful, sexy, connected relationship with your partner and risk getting hurt. Because that's the only way you know, like that's, that's all you know. Because of your past trauma, all you know is that intimacy equals hurt. So you have to rewire your nervous system so that you can release that trauma and release that old story that if I get close to my love, I'm just, my, my heart's just going to break. And when, and, and even as you release that old story, you have to change the ways that you've been behaving all this time, right? You have to change your ability to communicate during conflict, to reach out for affection, to, to let it in. All of these are behaviors now that you've also embedded and, and ingrained in your physical body. So you also have to change that. And the more that you change it and experience being present and connected during any one of these situations, the more your body and your nervous system get comfortable with like, oh yeah, this is okay. This is safe. This is actually really, you know, this is really amazing and gratifying. And it's not at all like the way that I used to try to get close to somebody and, you know, shit hit the fan. So if you want to learn how you can rewire your nervous system, break old behavior patterns and learn new patterns that will bring you closer to your partner and actually let in that love, let in that intimacy, then sign up for my free training. You can click above, below, or to the side, depending on where you're watching. There's a link to sign up for my training and in it, you will learn faster, deeper, and more effective than years of talk therapy has helped most people who are still holding onto old trauma and you will learn how to get through that and how to finally have a satisfying intimate relationship with your partner so i will see you at the training and until next time you deserve to be able to let love in and have an intimate relationship bye